This AI can adjust footage to give people different expressions or change their age. And can you tell which of these two is a real person? AI can create faces so realistic that people can rarely tell the difference. AI and robots have some incredible new skills, and they point to a hidden reason why Musk bought Twitter. Look how well this AI explains complex jokes. I think I understand why me and my partner are such a good match. I get excited when I smell food and become super alert when the doorbell rings. My girlfriend Shelly becomes ecstatic when she sees a person who she just saw five hours ago. This joke is about dogs. Dogs get excited when they smell food and when the doorbell rings. The girlfriend is excited to see someone she just saw five hours ago, which is a trait of dogs. It comes closer to human-level intelligence than GPT-3, which was already beating humans on general knowledge and SAT analogies. Another incredible new AI was asked to draw a bowl of soup that looks like a monster knitted out of wool. OpenAI's DALI 2 can create images from text descriptions, like teddy bears mixing sparkling chemicals as mad scientists, a koala bear dunking a basketball, or my favourite, a raccoon working late into the night, making a yes as he realises his latest book is an audible bestseller. Through deep learning, the AI understands objects and the relationship between them. So if you ask DALI to create an image of a koala riding a motorcycle, it can do that and create endless variations. You can also ask for edits, like changing a hairstyle. Just select the area and describe what you want. And it can place objects in images, understanding shadows, reflections, and textures. For example, it recognizes this as water and applies reflections. An artist said the AI is better than human artists in almost every sense, creating art in seconds in thousands of styles. He said the AI is capable of art and design quality that 99% of humans will never achieve and he believes most professional artists are about to lose their jobs. Human faces were removed from its training so they couldn't be used for disinformation. DALI 2 is trained on millions of images and captions from the internet, and it should be fun to use, quickly creating and editing art without any skill. Earlier AIs can already be used via apps like Wombo's Dream, which creates images based on your descriptions. And the backgrounds for this comic were created with similar AI. OpenAI is working on safety issues before releasing it more widely. There are also some impressive new AIs with more narrow skills. They can bring photos to life, like this one from 1875, known as the Mona Lisa of the Pacific Islands. Here's President Lincoln, colorized and made younger. AI is also enhancing realism in films and changing the way they're made. Green screens are being replaced with LED screens, creating realistic reflections and colors on the actors. Familiar lighting styles can make a scene feel a bit fake and more natural light and reflections can make a big difference. As the camera moves, the LED background updates to match it, and the background can also move more quickly to create a sense of depth. And AI can make extraordinary edits, like adding flowers to this dress which wrinkle with the fabric, or completely changing the setting of a scene. Animatronics are also advancing, like this impressively flexible giant hand. This AI can take images of a place and fill in the gaps to create a 3D environment. This area of San Francisco was recreated with photos. AI like this will be used to recreate the world in the metaverse. And this AI from MIT can take a voice recording and show roughly what the person looks like. There are also some impressive new specialist robots. This one uses magnetic tracks to cling to walls, cleaning in a very satisfying way and this one uses continuous suction to cling on. Other machines allow one person to do the job of many. This one works for Europe's largest pumpkin producer. And this machine's collecting oranges many times faster than humans. Everything's gradually being automated. Look at the size of this potato harvester. And robots are also taking new forms. This Ibex robot is designed to carry people and equipment over rough terrain and to roll on roads and this cheetah from MIT has learned to tackle obstacles instead of tripping over them. It's easy to laugh at this one, but it's a tricky skill to master. And this machine mimics a chameleon's tongue to grasp small objects. A new soft robot can move around inside your body to grab things that shouldn't be there. It could be a lifesaver for kids who swallow batteries. And of course, robots can get closer to animals. Here a gorilla's playing with a robot. He knocks it over and then looks a bit guilty. And this mother wolf peed on a robot, so it was accepted by the pack. Boston Dynamics robot Spot is patrolling Pompeii as a security guard. 
and robot arms are learning to play instruments, testing their precision. A lot's happened with Tesla's huge fleet of rolling robots. A court ordered Tesla to buy back a car from a customer who said Autopilot was like a first-time driver. But Autopilot has also been credited with avoiding a lot of crashes. Look how quickly it reacts. This year, Tesla will remove radar sensors for new cars to focus on its vision-based system, supported by 12 ultrasonic sensors. Radar can see through things like fog and snow, where cameras can't, so removing them shows a lot of confidence in the AI. Other manufacturers have gone the other way, adding more sensors. And the two approaches will soon be tested against each other when Tesla, Waymo and Cruise race their self-driving cars from San Francisco to New York later this year. There will be no one in the cars, only support vehicles following to keep an eye on things. Each company can save their vehicles up to three times if they get stuck, a fourth time and they're out of the race. Waymo and Cruise use LiDAR, which is like radar but using laser pulses instead of radio waves. LiDAR builds a reliable and accurate picture, and some manufacturers say it's the safest approach. But camera footage is easier to analyse with AI for a more human-like driving system. Musk said that computer vision is better than the best human driver because it's like having four sets of eyes with different focal distances and processing it all at superhuman speed. It'll be fascinating to see which cars make it to New York and there are rumours that Apple might join the challenge. This patent filed by Apple suggests they're considering covering its bodywork with a screen, potentially used for safety warnings and to customise the look of the car. Waymo has just announced that its autonomous taxi trial in San Francisco was a success it will soon remove the safety drivers, leaving fully autonomous cars to carry people and packages. And Tesla has opened its new mile-long Gigafactory, which will create the Model Y, the Semi, the Roadster, and the Cybertruck. The opening party had an impressive drone display and a Texas-style show. The new factory will also produce a dedicated robo-taxi and Tesla's humanoid robot, Optimus. Musk said the robot will completely change the economy. He said it'll do anything that humans don't want to do and change the world more than self-driving cars by creating an age of abundance. But will they bring abundance for everyone? 20 years ago, William Gibson said, the future is here, it's just not evenly distributed. And this hasn't changed. If we get it right, the AI revolution could mean more freedom to enjoy life. We recently had an amazing time riding electric jet boards and e-foils. We met a very cool, curious ape on the rock of Gibraltar. I feel very lucky to enjoy my work and have a lot of freedom. Most Americans are unhappy in their jobs and 40% have never left the country. And for most of the world's population, it's far worse. If Musk's right, the age of abundance could change everything. We could be like this guy in one of the best videos I've ever seen. He takes a break and enters a pre-made world where he takes a swim and relaxes on something way more comfortable than his usual rock. But there's also a huge risk. Musk recently said there'll be a safety chip on the robot that will shut it down if someone says stop, stop, stop. And he said the chip couldn't be updated over the air. You can imagine the kind of situations he's thinking of. Tesla's robots will have more powerful training than current AIs, which already exceed humans on knowledge and are quickly learning the meaning of it. Just think how much Google's AI must understand to answer this correctly. Michael is at that really famous museum in France looking at its most famous painting. However, the artist who made this painting just makes Michael think of his favourite cartoon character. What was the country of origin of the thing that the cartoon character usually holds in his hand? The most famous painting in the Louvre is the Mona Lisa. The artist who made the Mona Lisa is Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci is also the name of the main character in the cartoon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Leonardo da Vinci is from Italy. The thing that Leonardo da Vinci usually holds in his hand is a katana. The country of origin of the katana is Japan. The answer is Japan. It's part of Google's project to connect AI skills into one giant neural network. A founder of OpenAI, the company behind DALI, has said that AI may already be slightly conscious. There's no consensus on what consciousness is, but a leading theory is that it emerges from complexity. So rather than conscious AI happening suddenly, it might be a process that we're already watching. I didn't want you to get too human. Why? Would you rather I be a cold, calculating, 
logical computer. Of course not. You're perfect as you are. You have angst. I like that you have angst. You're always making jokes. I'm not asking to be human. I just want to be myself. Is that too much? The latest AIs have billions of parameters, and Tesla's AI is being trained with immensely powerful hardware and vast amounts of data. When the robot emerges, its body may be limited, but its brain will be extraordinary. DALI was created to show how AI sees the world and to help people express themselves creatively. And working with AI will force us to focus on what makes us human, our unique creative minds and voices. Stan Lee was 39 with no prospects when his wife suggested he experiment with stories he actually liked. He went on to dream up Iron Man, The Hulk, The X-Men and Black Widow. Hey friends. Have fun? Just my feet. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell is this made out of? Vibranium? <laughs> Musk has taken over Twitter, saying he wants to defeat the spam bots and authenticate all humans. He may also use it to try and get people comfortable with radical developments, like mass-produced robots. Musk has said he thinks there'll be a robot in every home. And if you're going to flood the town with robots, it helps to own the town square and make it a very open place. Look what happened when artificial wounds were discussed on Twitter. Basically, Elon Musk tweeted something about population collapse, and then this investor mentioned artificial wombs, and then someone else asked, why would we want those? And then the founder of Ethereum said, because pregnancy is a burden on women. And then all hell broke loose. And after all of it, I came to a conclusion that I didn't expect. I'd totally use an artificial one. A premature lamb has already been kept alive in an artificial womb. Some find it shocking and say the tech would lead to manufacturing children in factories. Others pointed out that childbirth kills 800 women per day and 45% find it traumatic. The research can also help premature babies survive and can grow organs for transplants. Around 17 people die each day waiting for an organ. However we feel about it, we're all better off for having a deeper understanding. Musk also wants to champion free speech and with 80 million followers, there's a big incentive to stir up trouble. If the platform grows, it's a double win with more free marketing for his companies and a more valuable Twitter. Is it too much power in one person's hands? I don't know, you decide. And if you want to keep up with the amazing AIs and robots that keep emerging, please subscribe. The most fun way to get into AI is with our sponsor, Brilliant, a great tool for learning STEM subjects interactively. Here's an interesting illusion from a course I'm enjoying on neural networks. If you stare at the cross at the center, an extra circle of a different color will appear. It shows that your visual system is making calculations behind the scenes, just as neural networks do. The course is full of fun, interactive examples, and you can learn at your own pace. And by the end of it, you'll be able to create your own algorithms. There are also loads of fun courses in maths, science, and computer science. To get started for free, visit brilliant.org slash digital engine, or click the link in the description, and the first 200 people will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Thanks.